Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So I finally have a huge holiday makeup releases haul. Kind of insane. I'm a little embarrassed. But if you want to see what my picks were for the holiday releases, then just keep watching. So this haul is pretty exciting because I actually am doing it in collaboration with my friend Brittany here on YouTube. Her channel's name is Brittany Raquel and hauls are a huge thing on her channel so we thought it would be a good idea to do a haul and she actually works at Ulta. Sitting here editing my video and I just realized while I was looking over my footage that I completely forgot to introduce Brittany to you guys. For some reason when I was filming, I felt like I had already mentioned her in a previous video and introduced her to you guys. I, I don't know why I was in a weird mindset, I guess. But yeah, I don't know. I guess I've just been like talking to her so much and like watching her videos so much that for some reason I felt like I had already introduced her. Obviously not. So let me <laughs> introduce her for you guys right now. So Brittany is super sweet. She's really pretty and she has great makeup skills. You guys, so good. She's very talented. I really like the way she edits her videos. Her videos are very easy to understand. They're very clear, great quality. Her and I definitely have similar tastes in makeup. So I would definitely go check her out and subscribe to my channel if I were you. Since she has that inside track at Ulta, she gets reviews up super early and quick as well. So anyways, yeah. This is my formal introduction of Brittany to my channel because I guarantee you I'll probably be talking about her a lot because I love her channel. Alright, back to the scheduled programming. We've been planning this haul for a while, but I told her to let me know the day that the holiday stuff comes out and we'll both make our picks on the sets that come out and we will collab on it because there are so many things that come out over the holidays. A lot of it you don't need, so I thought it would be great to collaborate with somebody so that we could show more of what there is and just, you know, our personal picks. We also ended up picking up stuff from Sephora as well, like I got a bunch of stuff in the mail today. So I'm going to combine it and this is just going to be a giant holiday makeup haul because it's insane and it's the best time of the year for makeup. It's when stuff has the cutest packaging, the most prettiest sets, and it's scary because it's only like the very end of September, early of October. Like more is going to come out. Anyways, make sure you go check out Brittany's video as well so you can see more of what is out there and what her personal picks are and why and let's just get to it. So I'm just gonna start off with Ulta because that's what we were originally just going to do before I became crazy and bought way more stuff. But anyways, so the first thing that I bought is a body set. Now this I feel like is a great gift for anybody. Like you don't have to be a makeup lover to love this set. I purchase a set like this every year. It's a philosophy set. So whatever they have, I'll purchase at least one every year because I really like their shower gels. And first of all, super cute. It says delicious. This was $45. And in here you get two shower gels, two lotions, fresh cream lotion is in here and that's one of my favorites, two lip glosses, and two hand creams. So it's just a really great body set. Philosophy is not very cheap, so I always like to get a good set and get to try a bunch of different scents. So I feel like this is just a great gift for a lot of people or if you're like me, buy it for yourself because I love the Philosophy brand. I love their skincare. Face wash is great, their shower gels are great, and I don't think I've tried their body lotions. If I did, it was a really long time ago but super excited about this i did not go in with the intentions of buying that but i honestly could not help myself so moving into the actual makeup sets that i picked out so the first one that i picked out is from tarte and i believe Brittany picked this up too if i remember correctly this is the tarte chrome for the holidays chrome paint shadow quad so this says 24 dollars and in here you get four of their chrome shadows in Froze, Pink Diamonds, Citrine, and Wild at Heart. Now I love these. These are one of my favorite products from Tarte. I keep most of mine in my makeup kit because the effect on the eye is unbelievable. So when I saw this, I was really excited because these were minis. And in my makeup kit, I'm all about the minis. So I'm going to take out my full-size ones and put these ones in. This one I was like... I 
when I first walked into Ulta and I saw it. Like, I picked them up. And they're just so tiny and they're cute. I already have Frosé and... I don't know, these just are so impactful on the eyelid. They're one of the best formulas. They're worth the full size price, but if you've been wanting to try these out, they are incredible, and I thought this was an incredible set. So let me just show you one, for example. I'm not gonna swatch too many, but I just wanna show you how amazing this is. So, look at this. I'm sitting here trying to figure out, of all my fingers, why I did that with my metal one. My apologies. Do you see that? So intense and pretty. Of all of the sets out right now at Ulta, this one is definitely one of my top picks just because these are so great and you get so many colors for pretty good value. So super into that. I also picked up the Too Faced Gingerbread Extra Spicy eyeshadow palette and I said I wasn't going to pick this up just because I have the one from last year. I'm kind of tired of Too Faced and this kind of looks the same. What had happened was there was only one left and I was using all of my Ulta points anyway so I didn't even spend any money today just want to let you know but there was only one left and I had some extra points left so I picked this one up I thought it would be nice to at least talk about it do a comparison because it is a nice palette and I did really enjoy the one from last year <sighs> it smells like vanilla I think the colors in here are honestly a little bit prettier than last year if you have the one from last year you probably don't need this one this one is so pretty and usually these palettes that come out from Too Faced are really good. Sometimes their stuff can be hit or miss. This one is usually a hit. I will let you guys know in a future video. But yes, was not planning on getting this, but I got it. I don't know. I really was into the Urban Decay releases. I thought that their holiday stuff was really cute. I refused to buy the Honey palette because I don't need it. Because I needed everything else in this video. Clearly. And they had a really cute set just like this, and I know Brittany got it, so go check out her video. I decided not to get that one, but this is like, it's like this. It's in this packaging. And so I picked out the Holiday Hall of Fame. This was $39, and in it you get an Urban Decay eyeshadow primer, which is an old classic. The Perversion 24-7 Glide on Eye Pencil, an all-nighter spray, and a Perversion Mascara. So the reason I purchased this was because I did need a new, fresh Urban Decay primer potion. I still believe in it. I still use it. I still love it. I needed a new black eyeliner pencil because I've been into pencil liners and I didn't really need this or this but it was $39 so that's when they get me with that value but it's super cute packaging. They have a honey one with like honey colored eyeliner and primer potion and a eyeshadow palette. Check out Brittany's video because she did Get that it's just the fact that it's like in this packaging that's really cute what else did we get Ooh, okay so this one i passed up on the first time i saw it and then i looked it up online and then i drove back to old town picked it up this is from tarte and this is the nine ways to shine cheek wardrobe and see i passed it up i was like i do not need this and then here it is so let me show I dropped one on the ground. My life is a mess. Hold on. So in it, it comes with three little compacts. And so the top part comes up. And then you have whatever color that is. And then you slide it out. So essentially, you just get like three colors. And it's super like kind of gimmicky. Did not need this. Really wanted it because the gimmick got me. I mean, at the end of the day, it is a little bit whoops it's much more tedious than it needs to be to open it but whatever i really like tarte's cheek products anyways usually i don't know if they came out this year because i haven't been keeping an eye out but they'll come out with like a blush palette of the amazonian clay formula i don't know if they did it this year but in the previous years they would every year and i use one of them in my makeup kit i love it to death yeah so I picked this up. I thought it was cute. Didn't need that one. Definitely used my YouTube as an excuse to pick it up because I have an excuse now to pick up this holiday stuff for you guys. Next thing that I got is from Benefit. This is the Together at Lash set. 
So what this is, is it's just three full-size mascaras. I've been really into mascaras lately, and I have eyelashes now, so I don't wear false lashes as much. So I've been really wanting to try new mascaras. So this comes with Bad Gal Bang, Their Real, and Roller Lash Mascara. I mean, I don't think benefit mascaras from what I've heard or all that but I just really like the set you get three full-size mascaras and then I got this from Too Faced this is a little mini damn girl mascara and yes part of the reason why I bought it was because of the packaging it's a super cute ornament this would be a great stocking stuffer I believe it was $13 but I love mini mascaras because you rarely use up a whole mascara and this is their new mascara that I wanted to try so I just thought it was super cute so I picked it up but that's a really great stocking stuffer idea. Okay, so that's all of the like holiday stuff that I picked up from Ulta. I did pick up a few other things that I might as well show you. I picked up this eyeshadow palette. I'd been staring it down for a while and I just figured since I was using my points, I would bite the bullet and do it. This is from BH Cosmetic. And BH is one of the few affordable eyeshadow brands that I actually like kind of enjoy. So this is Summer in Saint Tropez. So it's not holiday at all. But the colors in here, I mean, I don't know. I was just so attracted to these colors for some reason. Probably won't ever use this knowing me, but like I want to. So I need to make an effort to use this a few times because the colors in here are like stunning. I couldn't help myself, you know, BH is so affordable. So I just like threw it in and no regrets. Continuing on because believe it or not there is more but we're gonna move on to Sephora Ooh, I have a lot of fun stuff from Sephora Ulta has the best kits I feel like not just like the cutest kits not that Sephora doesn't like the Sephora kits are great for gifts I just have like everything in them so that's why I don't pick those up Ugh, just good holiday releases in general so the first thing that I picked up is the Too Faced Christmas Cookie House Party so back in the day I used to be obsessed with the Too Faced holiday releases and the sets like I would live eat breathe for them every year but that was when I didn't have as much makeup and now that I just obviously I am so blessed to have so much makeup that I just don't need the holiday sets from them anymore they're still super cute I just gotta control myself so I actually didn't purchase this for me I thought this was Too Faced cutest set uh, so I wanted to buy it for somebody that I know would love it because these are so freaking cute let's see you get a little mini Too Faced shadow insurance and a gingerbread lipstick. Trying not to tear this apart while opening since I will be giving it away as a gift. And Too Faced, by the way, was 20% off all weekend. I don't know why, but it was 20% off at Sephora and Ulta. So you have, I think it's three palettes and you also have a better than sex mascara. By the way, I don't know if you can see, this like makes a house, but <laughs> the Roof palette is a cute cheek palette right here. You have a blush, bronzer, and highlight shade. Mmm, smells really good. These look like great colors, okay? And then well, this cute, adorable little palette is the eyeshadow palette. And I think the eyeshadows in here are gorgeous. These are such pretty colors. Colors. I wish I could swatch them right now. Super pretty. These sets are just so great for people who don't have a ton of makeup but love makeup, you know? It's such a treat. They're so cute. And then I'm trying to get this last one out. Come on. This is the best that's gonna happen. But then you get like this adorable glitter palette for glitter looks and it has like neutral colors at the bottom glitter shades are so in right now like incorporating them into palettes i just thought of all the two face sets this one was my favorite so i did want to give it away as a gift since i wasn't going to buy it for myself okay and moving on Oh my gosh just looking at this like it's so much money of course you guys have been asking me about the hourglass stuff I did pick it up I just haven't had the time to film a video on it yet so I'll put it here so I got the whole collection so we have the hourglass ambient lighting edit the ghost palette which yes one of the things came broken it's fine I got a new one sent to me I just don't have it with me right now of course I had to get this I mean this is one of the most exciting holiday collections every year and last year's just did so well that I was so excited about this year's so in the collection you have that palette these came a few days ago so these are not fresh fresh this is the little blush quad they have some of my favorite blushes ever so super excited that they just came out with a whole quad and the 
colors are so gorgeous. And then you have the two lipsticks, which this is messy because I've totally tried it on. I'm not going to open them because they're too hard to open. And so many people have already done videos on these, but I got the lipsticks as well. Those lipsticks are definitely in my top five favorite lipstick formula. They're phenomenal. And then we have the Scattered Light Trio, of course. I love their Scattered Light shadows. They're just so gorgeous. So I know it's a little bit late, but if you would still like to see a video on the collection and me trying out, let me know down below. I know I'm late on everything nowadays, but if you would still like to see it, let me know. And of course, I got both of the new Pat McGrath eye quads, which these came in today, so I haven't even like dug into them yet. But you have this more neutral one, and these are the formula. If you follow my videos at all and know how much I love Pat McGrath. You know what I mean when I say these are the formula. It's so weird that these are in the same packaging as the big ones, but they're like so tiny and cute. And this one is my favorite of the two. Huh, so stunning. Of course, I won't wear it as much as the other one, but I am so attracted to this one. I do plan on putting up a separate video of those two, by the way. That's why I'm not really talking about them. Then we have the Dior Backstage Eye Palette. This is their new one. I dug into this one. This one came in a couple days ago. And I just feel like the colors in here are so nice. I know they're boring. I'm so attracted to this. And it has a couple interesting formulas. The primer and this shadow to liner gel so you can make a liner. These are just such good colors. I couldn't not get it. And I love the packaging of their backstage line. I love clear packaging. I had to pick that up. I was really excited about this. I know a lot of people weren't interested in this, but you know, I was. And I got the two new Charlotte Tilbury releases, of course. I wish I had more time because there's just so much I want to make videos on because I'm so excited about them So I got the new pillow talk palette of pops I bought a palette of pops a while ago and said it was completely Trash and said I would never purchase a palette of pops again, but when it comes out in pillow talk, I gotta give it a go, right? I mean, I really didn't have to give it a go. I haven't even swatched it yet. This came in today, but it looks Stunning so before I've touched it. I'm loving how it looks so, really excited about this. I'm working on growing my Charlotte Tilbury quad collection. So, so excited to have this one. And then I did get the gloss because I don't have a lot of lip glosses from Charlotte Tilbury. This one just looked so pretty and my kind of color. It would look super pretty with my look right now. I know I'm going through this specific step fast because I plan on elaborating in future videos more on these products. And then the last two things that I picked up. I regret it, but I don't. I did not need these at all. I'm a little bit annoyed that they released all of them so quickly. And I know this, there was this whole drama about things being released, blah, blah, blah. But I just, if what, what was the point of releasing more than one a year? That's just my opinion. But anyways, I still bought them. So who's the fool here? Me. But here is volume two. Two. If I did not do what I did on the internet, would not have purchased this, but I'm so excited to have it and look at it and create looks with it. I'm excited about this. I am. I can't lie. And this one, based on looks, is my favorite. The Norvina 3. It's definitely the most wearable of the three and it is so pretty. I think I like them so much because they're just so large and cute. I hate the layout of these palettes, but I love it at the same time. Like, I really like this one. I'm so excited to play with this one. I just, I don't know what I want to film first. I really don't. If anybody has any advice of how to have more time in the day, please let me know. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, that is all of the holiday makeup I've picked up so far. It is still early in the season, but it's the best season. So comment down below what kind of videos you want to see with these products and make sure you thumbs up the comments that you really like and the videos that you want to see so that I know what to post first because nowadays I am very pressed for time so it's very important to me that I get up what you guys actually want to see. I'll make those videos my priority. And yeah, so that's all I have for today's video. Make sure you go check out Brittany's channel to see what she picked up for the holidays. Holiday makeup hauls are the best. So if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, I do hope you take the time to do so. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys, have a good one.